Hello all, welcome to another edition of Keep Tip videos brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this edition of Keep Tip videos, we are going to look into a recent enhancement which was released in one of the recent updates of uh, Power BI which enables us to enhance our existing deployed models while using as a service inside our Power BI. Generally, when you work with deployed models inside Power BI desktop like Azure Analysis Services, Power BI datasets, there is an option to connect to these deployed models via live connection. The limitation of this option is that we are not able to add any other tables to this existing model. So what we get inside our Power BI would be a static copy of this deployed model. So this new enhancement known as direct query support enables us to enhance this existing deployed model inside Power BI by adding our own tables and adding some relationships and using them for our business requirements. So let's see a small demonstration of this in action and compare it with the existing live connection option. To start the demonstration, let's see how it works in the case of an existing live connection. So we have opened a blank Power BI desktop worksheet and we are going to the get data option to connect to a Azure Analysis Services instance. So we'll go to the option of get data and inside that there is an option for Azure where you can find Azure Analysis Services database. Click on connect and when it prompts, copy the and paste the server URL for your Azure Analysis Services and click on OK. And if you see the default option, that will be connect live. So there are only two options, import and connect live. The default option will be connect live. Import is when it gets imported to your Power BI desktop. And in many cases, you will not be able to import the model successfully if the model contains a lot of complicated data especially in the case of multi-dimensional models so in this we will be comparing between the connect live option versus the new direct query option which is available in the latest enhancement so here we are using the conventional connect live option where we will be connecting to the model uh, through a live connection so in this case if you see once the model loads, you will get a static copy of the model. That means you will not be able to modify anything within the model. You get the model as it is from your cube, the deployed cube, the analysis services cube, and you can just use it inside your Power BI for creating the required visualizations. Once the model loads, you can see that none of the normal options will be enabled for this. There will not be any transform data tab available. There will not be any data tab available there will be only the model view and the report view available even if you go inside the model view you can just see what are the models you can only do some conditional uh, logic like making some columns hidden similar things but you will not be able to add anything else to this model so what you get here would be a read only copy even if you go to the get data option you will not get any option to add an additional source which means the you are only restricted in creating visuals using the existing tables which are inside your cube now suppose that you want to add some other additional tables to this existing model your business requires a couple of additional tables also which are not there in originally in your uh, cube model but you want them to be part of your power bi model in such cases if you go for live connection you will not be able to do that now this is where it becomes essential for you to have any other way by which you can extend this existing model so here if you see we have a product table that product table has only category name and uh, subcategory name there is no brand name inside that now suppose the requirement is to add a brand table which is in one of your source systems here we will not be able to do that this is the limitation of the live connection now let's see how we can use the new directory feature and achieve the same requirement by extending your existing cube model for that purpose since this is currently a preview feature you have to first go to options and settings as usual to enable the preview feature so go to options you will have a tab for the preview feature go to preview features tab and there will be an option for direct query support for power bi datasets and analysis services this is the setting that you have to enable and when you click on ok it will ask you to restart the power bi desktop because you have added a preview feature now i am going to close this uh, power bi desktop without saving on restarting your power bi desktop again and going to the get data option and once you go to the azure analysis services option and click on connect copy paste the server url as before and choose the connect live option itself and click on ok select the model and click on ok now if you check you can see that the transform data option is enabled 
in the previous case if you remember this option was disabled now when we enabled the direct query support it enabled this option for you so if you go to transform data automatically it will give you a warning indicating what is happening on the background to make changes you would require a direct query connection this is where the direct query connection will get enabled and here what you can do is like when you enable this you can actually add more data to your existing sources like adding data from multiple sources to switch to a direct query connection you can add a local model to the pbix so when you enable this a local model gets added inside your power bi desktop instead of just using the static copy as it is from your server it will create a local model and to that local model you can add your own tables and add any more relationships as you want so click on add a local model and you will be provided with a blank power query editor to which you can add more tables so we are going to add a table which is going to contain the brand related information for that we are connecting to a local sql server instance copy the database instance name and paste it inside the server name and here you will be connecting to direct query so that you are getting it if you want you can connect it uh, in import mode also but if you want the uh, latest changes better connect it in direct query and click on ok so this table also will get added to your model now so here you can select which database and which table you want so i am going to add the table with the brand so production products table has the brand information inside that so i am going to add this to the existing model and going to add the brand name column inside this and i'm going to remove all the other columns except the key and this column i'm going to remove all the other columns and once this is done i can save it to the model and it will show you a warning telling that you are adding different data inside this so there's a chance that the data might get exposed to the people when you are deploying this model this is a just a warning to ensure that you acknowledge that the data is getting shared to other people so you can click on ok so you can see that the table now got added to the model with the product id and the brand information now you can add a relationship to this you have the existing product table here you can add a relationship between the product id and the product id of this table and automatically a one-to-one -one relationship will be added so once this is done now you can come back to your report and you can add a report based on this new brand name also so add brand name in rows and from your product category you can add the category name to the columns and just add any measures to your measure column say internet total so if you see you can see that you'll get all the data based on it so the brand information is currently available inside your model as you enhanced it by adding that additional table which came from your database all the other tables are currently coming from your source the cube connection the azure analysis services cube connection so as you see by using this direct query support we were able to extend the existing cube model and add additional tables to it so as to include any attributes from them inside your report for analysis so this quick tip helped you to understand a very useful feature which can be used for extending your existing cube model to add more tables and use them in your report analysis hope you found this uh, quick tip useful as usual feel free to subscribe to my videos and click on uh, bell icon for getting the notifications meet you all soon with another useful tip thanks for your time